Did you know if you buy a drone that weighs under 250 grams, you can fly it without a license? Well, in the UK and US anyway. Hey guys, it's Sam, and today we're taking you to the skies, reviewing this mini drone, the Roco F11 Mini. I mean, just look how small this is. This palm-sized drone weighs in under 249 grams, which makes it lightweight and easy to carry, especially with this awesome carrying case, which they include. The bag comes with this drone, two batteries, which last up to 30 minutes each, which is pretty impressive, the blades and a little screwdriver, just in case you need to replace the blades. The cool thing about this mini drone is that there's no FFA requirement for this drone, which means you can take it to your local open space, fly it without a license. How cool is that? The F11 has 4K Ultra HD camera quality, which is 4K in photos and 2.7K in video. Well, whatever 4K means in their description, it's definitely not high quality. More on this later. The drone comes with two batteries, which are 30 minutes each, which is a combined total of 60 minutes flight time, which means you can go out, have fun flying this drone and not worry about the battery life at all. The only thing I'm gonna say is the batteries, they have micro USB charger slots on them, not USB type C, which is very disappointing to see in 2023. I mean, I expect everything to have USB type C in 2023. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments down below. The look of this drone is very similar to another drone we reviewed on this channel, the DJI Mini 2, which you can watch the full review just there. But that's where the similarities end. The build quality uh, is a bit cheap, to be honest. It doesn't feel the most high quality of materials. Don't get me wrong, the powerful brushless motors are really good and they're nice quality, but the overall quality of the drone well, feels a bit cheap. For the price of this drone coming in at $212 at this time of recording, it's not bad for the price to be honest. So you can kind of forgive the cheap materials on the build quality. I would class this drone as a park flyer, something you can take to a park and fly just for a bit of fun. Not for professional recording, but just for fun, taking about, having a laugh and enjoying using the drone. This doesn't mean it's the easiest drone to fly. No, no, no. I found it even in low winds, very difficult to fly this drone. It likes to drift off in its own direction. Now getting back to the camera, it has a 90 degree camera with 130 FOV view of range. The downside to this camera is there's no built-in gimbal for the camera, which means when you're flying the camera, Guess what? The camera is going to shake all over the place because of the wind, the flying direction. It has no stabilization from the gimbal. So it's going to be very wobbly and the footage is going to look like this, unfortunately. When you compare the footage of this drone to another mini drone that we recorded, the DJI Mini 2, well, the DJI Mini 2 looks cinematic, 4K, 30 frames per second, looks amazing. It's made for professional filmmakers and for enthusiasts alike. Then you look at this footage. It looks like someone strapped a Blackberry to the drone and put it up into the sky. I don't know what's wrong with this footage. The white balance kept going from purple to white and it just went, it looked, it didn't look great to be honest. I don't have words for it. Yes, there's a big difference in price comparing this drone here to the DJI Mini 2, which is about $449 but I still expected better quality from this camera for the price. Unfortunately, I don't even think the footage is usable for YouTube. It kind of makes me a bit sick watching the footage back, but I still managed to get some all right shots and it's more of a gimmick. It's more of a fun thing that it has a camera attached to it. Look at it in that way. So who's this drone for? Well, I would say personally after using it, it's more for beginners who want to have fun, just taking out a drone, just flying it in the park, having a bit of fun with family or friends, and maybe a teenager, their first drone, and they want to just take out a drone for a little flight. Ben, what do you think of the drone? Uh, it's quite good actually, it's a bit everywhere, um, <laughs> but it's a good way to spend an afternoon really, so yeah, I quite like it. If you're interested in purchasing this drone, I actually have an exclusive discount code in the description down below for you guys. So. Go to the link, check it out, and you can try out this drone for yourself. They normally got some awesome deals on this drone. So head over to the description 
and check out the link. What are your thoughts on the F11 Mini drone? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like button and subscribe to us, Tech Fusions. We've got some awesome content coming your way. If you're interested in drones and want to check out another Mini drone with you, click this video here, which is the DJI Mini 2. This drone is really cool.